my dad is a language professor and he's raised us to have multiple languages and grow up with, with three native languages, basically, which is Arabic, Hebrew, and English. And that's it, ever since then, I've been, I've been fascinated by language. I've been fascinated by uh, learning it and then eventually teaching it. And everything about it, especially culturally, the first symptoms of conflict appear in language. The language that each community uses or that each dialect uses can create segregation. The project started from basically trying to alter the, the English curriculum in the classes that I teach in a high school in Haifa to teach them English. Through learning comprehension, how to spot the needs in their communities, and feel more empathic or feel more aware and conscious of their environment. My project is about to reduce the gap between the Israeli and the Palestinian students. Students learn better when they feel a personal connection to the material. By the time a student reaches grade 12, they're already starting to become more aware of their surroundings because it's the surroundings they're about to be released into. The main reason for this uh, conflict is the segregation between the students. If they start addressing those needs, needs that they've never paid attention to, they're already asking critical questions. And they're doing it in a second language that kind of gives the illusion that they are outside of it. The long-term girls, as they stand at the moment, are to basically embed this curriculum into schools in the region. If a student can reach an understanding of their own small community or reach an awareness of a need that is not necessarily their own, this all we need to do now is widen it to a regional and then a global perspective.